Hey, good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to morning prayer. I'm gonna wait just a moment and see who signs on this morning. Got something God has put on my heart. I wanna, um, right quick, just let you know, we may be coming to Louisiana the 1st of November. It looks like we probably are. I'm gonna meet with some pastors uh, in two or three weeks about that. So there'll be more to come about that. But um, what we're doing, if you're, this is the first time you've ever joined me in the morning time, we're do, doing morning prayer for 40 days and we're doing it for an event called Just One. That'll be August the 10th at eight o'clock, uh, Facebook Live. And you're inviting your just one, just one person that you wanna see saved. It won't go to church. Doesn't want anything to do with hearing anything about the Bible or just completely um, turned away from the church because of all kinds of different reasons. There's all kinds of reasons people get frustrated with the church. And, and you know, we hear the thing about hypocrites. We hear the thing about, you know, I don't like the way they do this or where they put their money. How do, you know, there's all kinds of things the devil will use to keep somebody from making it to heaven. It doesn't matter what they're doing. What matters is what's going on with you and God. And so just one is a way that we can reach that person. You invite them to watch Facebook Live, uh, join the event. It's uh, the event link is in the title of this video. Before we pray, I'd like to um, speak on something encouraging this morning. And God has laid something on my heart. Um, I hear a lot of people say, and, and I've said it too, you know, it's easy for somebody to say, well, you need to just trust God. You need to just trust God with what's going on in your life. That's easy to say when you're not in that position. It's easy to say when you're not going through that. And I understand that, but, you know, I think a lot of times we feel like we have to explain God. We have to make excuses for God. Why are you still going through this problem? Why are you still dealing with this? Why did your wife leave you? Why is your, why is your family destroyed? Why, why did you lose the loved one? Why are you losing your job? Why are you going through financial problems? Why are you having health problems? Why don't you sense God's presence when you pray? There's all kinds of things going on in people's lives. And sometimes we feel that we're, we're to try to explain that. But you need to understand something. We can't explain God. That's, that's probably my biggest problem with denominations. Denominations are man's feeble attempt to explain God and put him in a box. You cannot explain a God that we will spend all eternity learning more about him he's so infinite so wise so so just his majesty his glory in isaiah 55 i want to read something to you and i believe this will comfort you today and i believe this will encourage someone today that's going through a rough time please share this video let me know where you're watching from that's so important to see where everybody's coming from it means so much and i and if you have a prayer request post it and i will pray for you isaiah 55 verse 8 and 9 the word of God says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. When you think you've got God figured out, you're probably further away than when you started. We can't figure out what God's doing. We don't know. He won't do it the way we want him to do it. God's got a plan. God is working all things out for our good and his glory. I looked at Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego last night, and that's a very, very powerful miracle in the Old Testament, and we all reference how they went into the fiery furnace. They stood on their faith, and they trusted God, but there's something they said when they were facing the king, and he says, listen, if you don't bow to the idols, if you don't bow down to what I'm telling you and turn from your God, I'm going to cast you into this furnace, and we're going to heat it seven times hotter, and we're going to kill you. And they answered the king. They said, we're not careful to answer you, O king. We will not bow to the golden images, and our God will deliver us. But then they said something that just stands out to me. But if not, but if not, be it known this day we will not bow. But if not, in other words, our God's going to deliver us from you, but we may still go into that furnace. We may still die, but my God is going to deliver us. There's a strength and there's a power and complete surrender and trust to God's will and not your circumstances. There's a fear that creeps in from the mysterious, from the unknown. There's a fear. And that fear is, I don't know what God's doing. I haven't got a clue what he's doing in my life. Where is God? If we will ever learn, hallelujah, if we will learn to trust his word and not what we see or feel, but what he says, there's a great power and a peace in that. He says, I'll never leave you I will never forsake you. He didn't say you would always feel my presence. He didn't say I would always be just blowing things around you. You just see doors flying open. You would see me moving mightily. He didn't say all that. He just said, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. He told Joshua, no one will be able to stand against him as long as he lives. God is with us today. 
and he'll never leave you. He'll never forsake you. He says he's not given us the spirit of fear. When you feel fear, when you feel a fearful uh, feeling come over because you don't understand why you're going through what, what's going on in your life, you don't know what the doctor report's going to say, you don't know if, if the situation is going to work out, you're simply not trusting God. You're trying to figure this thing out. And he's already said, you won't figure me out. My ways are not your ways. My thoughts are not your thoughts. But he says, I have not given you a spirit of fear. The enemy has given you that spirit of fear. He doesn't want you to trust me. The only way that we can please a holy God that loves us and give his son for us on the cross, the only way that we can trust is, is by faith. He says, without faith, it's impossible to please him. By faith, we are saved. By faith, uh, we can accomplish mighty things through God. But it takes faith. It takes believing. I don't know if, what the situation is in someone's life this morning, but God has spoke to me this morning to let you know not to fear, not to have doubt, and not to try to figure this thing out. And don't go to everybody you can possibly find and try to get them to give you a reason for what God's doing in, in your life because here's the deal. They don't know. Only God does. But I can promise you this. I promise you. God has his hand in your life and bobbed in your life and there's a purpose and a plan for your life. It, you may never see it on this side, but one day we're all gonna be in heaven if we're saved and we'll be with God and we'll look back and we'll see how he, he was so intricately involved and worked everything out. And what an amazing time that will be. Trust God, not your feelings. Trust God, not everybody around you. Don't try to figure him out. Understand that his ways are not our ways and his thoughts are not our thoughts. Our Father and God, I. I pray that you would take this message in spite of me and how I deliver it. Lord, let it touch someone. Give it to, just I pray for your anointing. I pray for the Holy Spirit to speak to someone's heart this morning. Lord, there's someone that's going through a rough time and they're full of doubt and they're full of fear. And there's people all around them saying, well, just do this, just do that. But God, they really don't know what to say. But Lord, your Holy Spirit, your presence brings us peace and joy and i pray that your, your presence would settle down with them let them sense you are ever near and father let us understand that we don't know what you're gonna do but we know that you're gonna work all things out for our good and your glory and let our lives glorify you i pray for all the just ones every person that's watching this today that is a just one that will be attending the event open their hearts to hear your word i ask the holy spirit will prepare their hearts i pray for all those that are saved that have invited their just ones bless them encourage them today Lord, bless those that are watching just in general. Lord, have a wonderful day. And, and Lord, let us walk in truth and walk in power. And let the words of our mouths and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in your sight. Oh, Lord, our strength and our redeemer in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.